graduated from school? Well, it's just like anything else, Mike. If, if you want something to be done uh, that's as technically and artistically demanding as veneers, I would want to have somebody that's done a lot of them because over time they're going to get an intuitive sense of what's going to work. All right, we have to take another quick break. When we come back, I want to talk about implants, uh, single tooth implant. You talked to me before about when it's a time to put an implant in right when you take your, the tooth out and also about securing dentures with implants. You're watching Medical News Network. We'll be right back. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, Sally's having some behavioral problems. I guess that reward system isn't working. Well, the timeouts weren't either. You know, parents do find that timeouts aren't... See? Well, you're just too lenient. Well, you're too strict. No, you are. Oh, you are. No, you are. No, you are. When adults don't have the answers, they can feel as frustrated as kids. Connectforkids.org has thousands of resources for helping kids in your community. Connectforkids.org. Guidance for grown-ups. Almost half of all parents who suspect their child has a problem learning wait a year or more before getting them help. Why? When there's so much they could be achieving. Kids with learning disabilities are smart. They just learn differently. Call or visit us on the web now. Welcome back. In studio we have Dr. Joe D'Angelo. And we're discussing easy and convenient ways of obtaining a more confident smile. Right. We were talking about veneers. and What is the most challenging part of cosmetic dentistry for you? Some of the most challenging cases are those where you have to fix a single front tooth and try to get it to match the one next to it. So you don't do anything with other teeth. You have one tooth missing. You're going to change that one. Sometimes everything looks fine except for one tooth's got a problem. You don't really want to touch the other ones. You just got to make that one match. And All right. A single front tooth has its mirror image right next to it. I know you've brought along a picture, so let's take a look at the image. I see this gentleman. I see the gray line around his tooth. Is that the tooth that we're having problems with? This, this gentleman came in uh, knowing he had a problem with the tooth, and um, the obvious problem is the gray line at the top, and the crown doesn't really match the one next to it. So you've got to take the tooth out. Uh, in this case, actually, the tooth had to come out. We um, needed to extract the tooth because it was fractured and it was fractured in such a way that made it not restorable. Okay, so you take it out, and now do you place an implant right? What is an implant? Well, an implant is a titanium root replacement. Okay, okay you, you brought a model. Let me see, what, just show us real quick. This is a very large version. It's an elephant implant. Uh, what, heard if I, yeah, I've heard if I put it in my mouth. So what happens with that? Okay, so this goes inside where the root used to be. All right. Okay, on top of the implant, we may attach an abutment, which gets screwed down into the implant in some fashion. All right, so if we look at the next picture of this gentleman, that part you just screwed in, the abutment, is that what we see sticking out there? That right there is actually a temporary abutment. It's not the permanent abutment. It's a temporary abutment. This implant just went in moments ago before this picture was taken. Okay, and now when he leaves, will, he have a, will there be a temporary tooth in there? Just out of curiosity. When he, he leaves, he will walk out with a temporary tooth okay. and uh, everything looks fine. So and as you can tell in. from this picture, the tissue is barely even red. Yeah, it doesn't I look mean, like it. And the, this is extremely important aspect of trying to do single, immediate front tooth replacements. All right. To get the tooth out without creating any trauma to anything around it and be able to put the implant Does that help exactly it heal faster? Right. Not only does it help it heal faster, but it helps maintain the tissue profile. In a front tooth, and somebody like this that shows so much gum line, you have to make sure that that tissue profile looks natural like it did before. How long before you put the, the, regu the, the permanent abutment in? It could be anywhere from three to six months. Okay, so you put it in and now you're going to put in one tooth and try to match all the rest of them. All right, now it's the added challenge of trying to get the porcelain to match the rest of the teeth, or especially the one right next to it in a front tooth situation, and have it on a piece of titanium not coming, out of the tooth, and not coming off a tooth. All right, let's take a look at what you did and let's see how well you did. That's incredible. Now that is not his natural tooth. That is uh, a crown that's built to match the adjacent tooth. We did not restore any of the other teeth, just that one tooth. The next gentleman, you made a comment to me about. Now, this gentleman's got missing most of his teeth on the upper. He's got three. Standard theory, standard practice, standard protocol for most dentists would be to pull those three teeth 
and replace it with a complete mm -hmm. denture. That's right, right. You made a comment to me about why that's not a good idea. What did you say? Well, in this gentleman's situation, he actually came to my office saying, I was at another dentist's office. They wanted to take all my teeth out, all the rest of my teeth, and put a denture. And uh, he just wasn't ready to lose that last couple of teeth and get a denture. And I was in full agreement with him. As a matter of fact, um, when considering implants, it's nice to have some natural teeth somewhere in the arch for proprioceptive awareness of where the bite is. Does that mean so you can feel where your teeth so are? You, you get the, the feel of what it, uh, a piece of steak feels like. Okay, how many implants did you do for this gentleman? Uh, this gentleman has uh, six implants, three on each side. All right, let's take a look at and his after. Well, that's incredible. Now, you're telling me that the whole right side of his mouth is all implants? Right, everything you see is implants. We only restored as far back as you can see. Um, he is wanting to restore at some point in the future, as soon as he feels comfortable with it, uh, the back molar area. Okay. Uh, but with three implants together on each side, aesthetically, um, we've solved the problem. Uh, he, he loves his new smile. He feels the teeth are incredibly strong. He feels he could eat better than he ever has before. And, um, and he doesn't have to worry about replacing them. They're not like a bridge. They're not going to break. They're not going to crack. He's not going to... They're, uh, they're in there. They're done. They're, they're, they're uh, these in implants good. are strong and stable. Any special stuff, I mean, other than brushing and flossing that he really has to do to take care of them? Uh, brushing and flossing is... And coming in for regular checkups is okay. just like regular teeth. Is what he needs to do. Let's talk about dentures real quick. I wear dentures. Somebody wears dentures. They've got poly grip. They, how many implants do you have to do, put in to stabilize, and I'm not saying complete, but just to stabilize the dentures so they don't have to worry about them flying out when they speak. Well, Mike, a lot depends on what the arch form looks like. If somebody has got a good arch and all they want to do is keep the denture from floating up in embarrassing situations, then we can get away with two implants on the bottom, usually toward the front of the mouth. Denture snaps Putting the implants in, in early, if you have dentures, if you had them for a year or two, will putting implants in early help keep that arch support up? Will it help keep the ridge there for you? Well, the less movement you have of the denture, the more likely it is for the bone to not, res the bone not to resorb. Okay, so. Uh, as soon as a tooth is removed anywhere in the mouth, I know the you, bone starts resorbing right away. You brought me a model. Show me what you're talking about with, with two implants. Okay, this is, this is a, a sample of a lower denture, and on the lower denture, uh, two implants and attachments were placed. The implants in the bone, the attachments on the, on the denture itself, and the patient could snap the denture into the mouth. And that's locked in? And that's locked in. They'll still feel securely. a little bit on the backbone when they chew? Uh, they would have an awareness in the backbone, and yes, as they chew, it would put a little pressure on the back. Okay, what so implants or dentures supported this way are going to be very stable. What if, I don't want to, what if I don't want to feel that? What do you do to, su to support if I maybe don't have a good enough jawbone, the bones resorb, can you do anything with implants to support my denture then? Right. If there's not enough form in the back of the mouth to stabilize the denture, not just, I'm not just talking about keeping it from floating up. I mean stabilizing it. Uh, there's not enough bone to keep it stable. Or somebody's worried about losing more bone over time. The trick is to do build put extra implants in. Like the regular denture would be if right. they had this in, okay? And in some cases, it could, the denture could be entirely bar supported, so it doesn't touch the no tissue No pain on all. their gums, no. What doesn't are people telling you? Does it change their life? Well, it's so secure that they feel they could eat as efficiently as when they had their natural healthy teeth. On your website, um, I know you have complete information on implants, complete information on veneers. At, at either joethedentist.com or josephdangelodds. But for people that are, that are not computer savvy or don't have that time, can I put you on the spot? If they have a question, they don't know where to turn to, can they call you? Absolutely, Mike. I, I'm more than happy to help out any, anywhere I can. Uh, I, I do this because I love doing it, and if I can help out in any way, I will. Dr. D'Angelo, I want to thank you for coming on the show today. You've been incredibly informative, and we'll have to have you back. Thank you, Mike. You've been watching Medical News Network. For more information on this subject or any other, please visit our website at medicalnewsnetwork.info. For now, I wish you good health.